So if you like a growing number of photographers and you prefer to use Lightroom for your editing, then let me just have a quick moment of your time to be able to show you how to edit if for images for black and white, because it's not a simple case of just desaturating the whole photograph. So in Lightroom, there is under the uh, basics panel here, uh, an option just to desaturate the photograph. So all we need to do is just take that tab and drop it down to minus 100 and it takes away all the color. So fantastic, you've desaturated the photograph, but as I said, that is not the only way. And if anything, there are more creative tools and more customizable tools that you can use um, to maybe make that black and white a little bit more punchy, a little bit more dramatic. So let me show you, if we go back to where we were with our original, we put it back at zero. Now, a little bit further down, the HSL sliders. These are fantastic tools to use for any photographer, not just for people that want to edit into black and white. But what this gives us is the option to desaturate the photograph, but then still to be able to play with the tones that are in that image. Because even though we desaturate it and it looks black and white to our eyes, the color still exists within the file. And Photoshop, uh, sorry, Lightroom in this instance, gives us the ability to be able to tweak those colors still. So what we'll need to do in terms of our actual editing, we need to start off working in black and white. So the treatment at the top here, we've either got the option of color and black and white. So obviously we're gonna kick onto black and white. So that just takes out um, all the color initially. And now we've got this dedicated panel here that's kind of replaced the HSL sliders, um, but it still works in a very similar way. So bearing in mind what the original colors were in our photograph, so let's put them up side by side. So we know there's lots of yellows and there's lots of greens. There's some reds and browns in the path down here, but yellows and greens are primarily gonna be the colors that we're looking to affect. So let's go back to that. With that knowledge, then we can use these two sliders here, the yellow and the green, to tweak our image. So we can still manipulate the colors that were in the shot. So by using the slider up and down, you'll see we get a live response on the shot. So what it would look like if we actually change the tones of those yellows. So we may want to lift them a little bit brighter, maybe with the greens, we may want to darken them a little bit more and create that contrast. So we can do it a number of different ways. And depending upon the image that you're editing, um, you may want to use different sliders. I may want to move them to different degrees depending upon the effect that you want to achieve. So since there was bits of reds and oranges, it turns out in the path, we can kind of lower that down a little bit. Let's maybe see if we can get a little bit more. So there's not maybe so much of the red as I, as I expected there. It's also worth just checking over the other sliders to see if that has any other effect. If not, just leave them at zero. Not all the colors in the slider list here will really be applicable. It just depends upon the, obviously the original colors in your shot. But there we go. We've gone from something that was kind of quite flat and quite static when we initially just did our straight up black and white to now having something a little bit more toned and it's got a little bit more depth and engagement. So it's really, really worth looking past the simple desaturation tools in Lightroom and use the dedicated black and white editing sliders.